Uh, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Daniels faculty. My name is Jason Nguyen, and I'm an assistant professor here at the faculty, as well as the chair of the Public, Pro Public Programs Committee. I want to thank all of you for attending tonight's lecture, the first event in our winter 2024 public programming series, which I'll elaborate on shortly. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. Our Winter 2024 Public Program Series, which begins tonight and concludes on March 28th, comprises an exciting lineup of lectures, panel discussions, and exhibition openings. It covers the range of disciplines here at the Daniels Faculty and is reflective of our commitment to interdisciplinary study and practice. Some of the, um, some of the highlights of the coming semester include urbanists uh, Chalina Odbert and Dana Cuff, the architects Jermaine Barnes, Colisile de la Weo, Kim Holden and John Bass, the multidisciplinary artist PSAF, housing artists, uh, experts rather, uh, Leilani uh, Farha and Paul Karakusevich. We hope that you will join us for as many of these events as possible, as well as spread the word about them with your colleagues and friends. And now to introduce tonight's speaker, Vo Trong Nia, I would like to turn the podium over to my colleague, Adrian Pfeiffer, Assistant Professor of Architecture and Director of the Faculty's Master of Architecture program. Please welcome Adrian. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I know the weather is not uh, very friendly. Um, and welcome to tonight's Jeffrey Cook Mem Memorial Lecture presented in the name of architect Jeffrey Ross Cook. Every year, the Jeffrey Cook Charitable Trust, established in 2005 to pay tribute to his namesake, generously supports the speaking event at the faculty. In addition to advancing Cook's life work and legacy, the trust focuses on the potential of the built environment and its interaction with the natural environment to secure human sustainability and enhancements. We are very grateful for the ongoing support of the trust. And now to our tonight uh, speaker, Votrong Nia. Nia is very much concerned with sustainability, with mindful design and with respecting nature. He's an esteemed architect a visiting instructor here at the faculty this term, and a strong proponent of meditation, as he'll make clear in this evening's address, which is entitled Healing. A graduate of the University of Tokyo and of Waseda University, Nia established his practice, VTN Architects, in 2006. Celebrated for infusing his work with thoughtfully planted walls, hanging vines, structure piercing trees, weathered stones, and sunken spaces, he incorporates traditional Vietnamese building techniques such as complex bamboo trusses, perforated blocks, cooling water systems, shaded terraces, and thatched roofs, which, in my view, transform architectural forms into performative urban vegetated landscapes. In 2014, the World Economic Forum selected Nia as young global leader and he was named Architect of the Year by Dizin in 2019. From 2017 to 2020, he also meditated intensively at the Pawak Forest Monastery in Myanmar, where he came to understand how meditation could be a powerful tool for architects and for the healing of the earth. He has since taken the knowledge and experience he has acquired there and applied it to his work in numerous ways. Please, please help welcome Votrong Nia on the subject of healing. Um, thank you very much for giving, uh, giving me an opportunity to give the lecture here. Um, I am uh, from Vietnam and a little bit the uh, weather is different, it's <laughs> very cold <laughs> here, but, but I like the snow very much. Um, so um, today I would like to present uh, you about 
the uh, how we can help to reduce the carbon uh, footprint the way we protect our environment by architecture in uh, Vietnam situation is a little bit in the tropical uh, uh, climate not like uh, a, a cold weather like here but um, I hope with um, you know our passion how to reduce the carbon footprint for the our planet and how we can heal our planet but um, during the way to um, make an architecture mm, I uh, had many uh, challenges one of them is I think uh, we we are at a human beings you know we a lot of um, we have internet or a social media or um, TV or those stuff make a, with a lot of wandering mind. So wandering mind and uh, 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 the conflict in ourselves make us like less productivity. So that's why today I would like to present first part of, uh, uh, of um, my talking is about architecture and the next is about meditation. And uh, nowadays we have a lot of people with uh, uh, anxious and um, depressed people around the world. So I had, uh, I heal myself. Oh, when I was young, maybe I have hidden uh, depression, but I still could try hard to uh, for doing architecture. But after that, I started to meditate in 2012, and until 2017, I decided to almost quitted my job to go to the um, uh, to meditate in Myanmar for about 1,000 days uh, intensively in the forest and I thought my my uh, firm may be bankrupt but um, but I could uh, develop the uh, full absorption concentration after a few months months and then I could work like very productively and then I could do like about 10 to 30 minutes per day to run my office in Vietnam during that three years. So um, now I'm uh, teaching here at the visiting uh, 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 staff here and I did about the healing. So I think, uh, so I applied the meditation to our staff in the company. We uh, meditate one hour for working day every day, and um, we uh, we um, maintain the five precepts: no killing, no uh, stealing, no uh, no um, uh, lying, no sexual misconduct, no uh, uh, alcohol or uh, drug or that make our staff very uh, uh, productive and they are they have good emotional um, intelligence so that's why it helped uh, me to be uh, free from uh, long hour working like uh, in Japan because I had been uh, um, educating in Japan for about 10 years at the time they worked around the clock, maybe until midnight, they always ha try to have the meeting at 0 a.m. or 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. That was normal when I was in Japan. But uh, um, it was hard for me when I come back uh, to Vietnam and then people work a little bit shorter, a little bit, not, not much. Vietnamese people also work hard. Then one time shock, but I could find out the way is that we can work short, but with good concentration, with, with uh, productivity, then we can work short. That's that why I would like to share you about uh, our story tonight. Um, so the topic is the healing. So I was born in a the border between uh, south and north of, of Vietnam. So they, uh, the war, American-Vietnamese war, is, was very hard, like in Ukraine, 
now. So um, I we didn't have the electric city until I am 20s when I go to Japan and then my village started to have the electric city. So I, we know the way how to deal with the hot summer uh, without um, without uh, fan, even fan, not about uh, air conditioner. So, but living without electric city also can be a very good way. So later, after I come back from Japan, I try to make the architecture with less uh, 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 depend on the energy. So, you know, recently we have a lot of problem with extreme weather or because of climate change. Like here in Libya uh, in 2023, last year, and here is uh, in California, uh, uh, last year too, in uh, uh, March uh, 2023. And here is a uh, wildfire in Canada in June. And I mean, the climate change make a lot of uh, uh, problem around the world. And here is uh, near my uh, hometown uh, also recently. And Earth, our home, I think needs healing because if we try to consume, we try to use energy, we try to uh, uh, destroy our environment, then many problems will, will happen. But in I, I would like to talk about the Ho Chi Minh City case or uh, Vietnam. is a greenery area. is just about... Um, 0.7 square meter per person compared to other city. So it, it is very uh, less greenery. So you can see the situation here. The here is all about uh, the, uh, the, in the winter we talk about the insulation. So in the tropical climates, it should be the shadow and trees. And, and ventilation. In the wind, uh, cold winter, we talk about the, the, the uh, uh, light, the, how to get the light into the home and insulation, but in the tropical is about the tree and shadow. But the, here is the Ho Chi Minh situation is totally lacking of greenery. So, and here is the traffic that is very unique uh, compared to other places in the world. And because of that, we have the air pollution and flood or heat, or the, we have many people with uh, mental problem because of the uh, 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 lacking of nature. So at uh, the way we are trying to do now is we try to make this type of the city to be, you know, to be more green space. We reintroduce the green to the city by, you know, renovating or, and this, because of this situation, we even don't have any space, much space for sport. So farming on the house also very good way for them to kind of exercise and enjoy with the nature. And here is traffic. And again, the way we try to uh, renovate and rebuild that to this for the new, uh, uh, um, new city landscape. And for the new uh, master plan, we always try to introduce the farm on the house and also the vertical farming and the solar panel and how we can reuse the um, water because because of uh, intensive rain, it can uh, cause the um, floods. So that's why we try to stock the water on each house to, to, to keep the water there. And we, um, here is one uh, house. It is like um, the boxes, and this house is for a depressed uh, client. Uh, he 
got depressed and he didn't want to go out. So that's why this house is a little bit hard to live because if you want to move from the bedroom to, to the bathroom, you need to go outside because he, he, he closed his, himself into the room. So we need to take him out even by go to, to have food or go to a, a, a restroom. And now he become a uh, very uh, good situation at the moment, but he started to complain it's a little bit to live in this house. <laughs> but uh, we designed the house in the middle of the steel roof. We designed like a tree box to plant big tree there to create a new environment for, for, for the um, owner and also for the uh, for the owner and also for the birds or another uh, livings. And now the tree cross together, make the very good shadow. And uh, the here is a bamboo concrete farm work. And the, we have the courtyards in the middle of the house. In look outside, it very, uh, uh, closed space, but in reality, it's open to in into the courtyard, and the box like this. It's a living room. And another example is uh, this um, kindergarten, it, because you can see the city situation is a very rare space for the children, and then we would like to create a space that. Uh, the children can play uh, uh, freely around um, in the courtyards and continuous to the rooftop. And here you can see the the shoe factory, the 23,000, about 23,000 23, workers are working there. Almost uh, all of them are uh, uh, female. So their children is, can uh, study here. And we create like a farming farm system on rooftop of this house for their uh, parents to, um, to do the farming and then they can enjoy that process. So um, you can see the vegetable here and the children can walk around and from the courtyards continue to the rooftop and come back to the courtyards. And the many types of vegetable and even flower. And the courtyard, you can see here, we have the safety courtyards, the three of them connect together with the purity and the space continue to the roof and continue to the roof and then they can have the safe space to enjoy their, because, uh, you know, I repeat it again, I repeat again, because the in lacking of uh, playing space for the children in, um, in, in uh, Vietnam situation, the safety playground is very important, and then that's why we create the space for them to have the maximize their activity for the, the, the children. So, um, here is the way we connect to the, and we have the louver, louver and the green facade to, um, uh, to reduce the heat, so the direct sunlight, and we enhance the ventilation by uh, sim simulation uh, by computer. And then this, because the, uh, low income workers children so we don't have enough but just for aircon but the ventilation can help well because the big shadow roof on that the, with the uh, soil on that and then it good insulation from the strong sunlight and the classroom and here is uh, my office in vietnam uh, in ho chi minh city so it was uh, built during I was in Myanmar. Uh, I, I had, when I was meditating in Myanmar, uh, our uh, company member, they helped to build this. 
and it worked very well during the the COVID. You know, because the situation is of city is very compact, very high density, and this also very in the high density area. But because we hang the tree system outside, not touching the building. And you can see the void is connecting through the building like this. So it helped to reduce the infection of the COVID during the COVID because the vent, vent, we just open, open the, the door, open the window, and we have the office space inside. But uh, because I used to with, don't go to the office for many years, so since the building have been done, I just many years I just go there for a few times, not not much. And then my staff said, "Oh, yeah, you haven't come to the company for a year, more than a year." Okay, my, tomorrow I will come. I live very nearby, just ten minutes walk, but <laughs> I don't have to come to office anymore because, uh, yeah, so <laughs> so. People can live uh, inside to stay around and work, and then the ventilation and the air move around, and that's why the, it's reduced the uh, infection. And during the hot summer, it uh, in Ho Chi Minh, a hot whole year, so we protect the, 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 the sunlight very well, and then the air can go through. So the and we recycle the the water, and the, you know the irrigation system is through, and it make like do, double skin for the in 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 the cold weather. Double skin mean glass, air or or nothing here and glass, but in tropical it should be trees, air and glass. It should be that better uh, for the double skin in in tropical climates. So another exam is he is he was my uh, a staff. So he started. He wanted to build a house. He not not an architect. He is uh, is an um, engineer. So he asked us uh, to build a house uh, for him. Then we, um, yes, so it's like uh, we still want to use the like ecological system, like from the feed pond to pump it up for the tree for fertilizer them from the feed pond and the rain from the fish, uh, uh, from the tree pot come down to the feed pond and the system is like very huge uh, tree on the roof uh, pot on the roof and the just very very soft line go through the tree uh, leaf because this two deep is 1.5 meter so so the very just uh, about thirty minutes per day, the light can come through a little bit, but it still come through from the 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 big pot, and the we recycle the water put to the tongue, and we pump it up from here to to the tree pot, and from the tree pot come down here for the fish living here. Of course, not here. We we don't drink this water, but the the fish here can fertilize for the for the tree here, and then the tree there go grow very fast. And we try to install the solar panel in uh, on this site. And the uh, the you can see here the uh, in the tropical climates is uh, connecting and shadow, and the air move uh, the, through the the void like here and we have the brick structure and the stone here and go go up can you you can see it again here the space come up like this is connecting together and two box like just put into very big 
frame and we put two box into that and one more box in the uh, underground and we have this type of uh, uh, space and you can see the connecting inside out and the light just come through the, the this space and the activity for the children for the family space and here is, uh, we can see the master bedroom. We have the curtain here and the bathroom and the, the mm, uh, bedroom there and the staircase. And here is the master bedroom. We can see the garden and uh, here and the workspace and the dining living room. And another house is uh, next to the, uh, a park. So we try to continue, make the park continue to the house, on to the top of the house, like come inside the living room here, connecting, connecting, and go up to the rooftop garden. And you can see here is a rooftop garden and the living room. The park here continue to the living room, go up to the, up the space, uh, connecting, connecting. The, and we try to introduce the, because you can see this idea is come from the situation of the Ho Chi Minh City, which is like about 13 or 14 million uh, population there, and then with very less of green space. So that's why it become very essential to another house in uh, Hanoi, Hanoi, it near Hanoi, it's the pottery village. So the owner is uh, running the pottery business. So that's why we order special uh, uh, pottery brick to make the house. And in the same way, the village is not really nice. And then we try to make the, the we filter the outside uh, environment uh, for the house and we make like a framing the outside and we put the vertical garden in between of the space and we can enjoy it very hot in the summer in this Hanoi area. It can be sometime 45 or even hotter degrees so it works very well it, it protects outside and the greenery in the middle the ventilation and the pool on the rooftop or and then the space can you know can keep you uh, uh, cooled inside the bathroom and the garden in the middle here And another house with the kind of look similar, but we create the vertical garden in the middle of two layout, the outside wall, and the staircase go around that in the middle of the space. And we plant a tree in the middle. You can see the walkway around to make the double skin for the, for the house. And the inside space, like this and the middle and uh, we have the greenery and the outside because the Vietnam miss landscape city landscape is a little bit different compared to here so another um, solution for the high-rise uh, building is become like very uh, normal in the world nowadays but in the in this context with the concrete jungle around in the next to the ocean and then with a lot of sunlight, rain, and we can uh, uh, plant the trees very easy, not like here. But so we try to make it like look softer. Otherwise they are building a lot of this kind of, kind of building make the city landscape become, uh, uh, become very concrete huh? <laughs> we can uh, so uh, it like here this area is that we have 
a lot of big storm during the uh, after the summer, but we um, plant the type of tree. The name of tree is storm too, and that means it can be durable with a storm. Uh, so this type of tree is work very well when the storm coming is soft and very uh, flexible for the wind. Sorry. And here is the room interior, the um, reception with very small land, only less than 700 square meter, but the client, they still want to build like 153 uh, rooms. Uh, so we don't have space even for the um, void for the reception, <laughs> but we still try to to hear the tea spade in the ground floor, hear the rooftop uh, pool, and hear side uh, facade. And you can see again the situation of the building. And another building is uh, the for the IT, very big IT group, they always do the brainstorming meeting here. So we try to create many courtyards for them to walk, to go around, go around the park or go the rooftop, uh, uh, court, uh, rooftop uh, garden for, for take a rest or meditation here quietly <laughs> to prepare for important uh, meeting. So we have a lot of uh, uh, courtyards and connecting together and uh, uh, many other connecting space to the yard court. And here the landscape from this way and that way two different garden and the garden around. And they also, uh, sorry, they also ask us to do the next building is academy building. We try to plan the, this type of tree can grow like 25 meter, about eight floor uh, building. So we install that tree inside the, the site and then we put the box in the middle of those tree. So that means like the box in the middle of the the, the, the big park, you can see here, it now is a grow up, after a few years, grow up, make it a very big one and tall one. And then though boxes is put in the middle of, of, uh, of this tree, and we connect them by, by this concrete slab, by, by like a bridge. And from the rooftop, you can see the tree, it will be, make the big shadow to the for the box in the middle of that is because in the summer it's super hot in this area and then tree make the big shadow and the concrete slab make the shadow and the even the wall they also have shadow itself the rub, double skin wall um, and one more layout inside and this make the the shadow for for themselves for itself so that's why it's very cool inside in the summer. And we make the uh, pond in the middle of the uh, dough boxes for the, uh, the climate. And you can see here the tree they grow up and become big and then all of the boxes is in the middle of the, of the uh, 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 trees. And I would like to explain some more about a uh, bamboo project. Also the way, for example, we, in the Vietnamese situation, we don't need to make like sometime like a concrete or brick building all the time, but like restaurant or resort or community center, it can be done by uh, low uh, carbon footprint material like uh, bamboo or ram earth or those stuff. So, in our company, we always do try to do it because it's very random material. So we try to make it to be a unit to control the to control the 
uh, quality, the, mm, the quality of the building, then we um, first we ban and we shocking into the um, water and we smoke them and we use. And here is uh, one of the example of the big bamboo building in the surrounding the mountain around we make the uh the this community center for the whole villas uh, villa around and this is a like community center plus like many many function reception restaurant and this about 1000 square meter pure bamboo structure and uh yep you can see here is all done by unit and we put it up then we make a a, a huge space of uh, architectural space uh, without any uh, support material like steel uh, pure bamboo structure and the space in the middle of uh, uh, inside and outside we have like corridor deep uh, 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 roof and uh, water around so it make this uh, very comfortable space and at night so another with very mass development and they order us to make a welcoming center here so the function is only welcoming center so we design a very complicated grid system outside and the uh, and the curve cantilever here and the grid in the middle and we have uh water around to make it cool and the ventilation and you can see the inside space is kind of you know they filter the light into the space space and the uh, top light, we take the light from here. Almost don't need the light for 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 day daylight uh, daily time. And another space is like a dome with the, uh, they can use this for some perf performance. Or <clears throat> another we they make the huge master plan here and we make the canal for the to continue the river inside to the whole master plan and we design the community's house for whole uh, master planning and it also like a conference space or a community space or a restaurant and you can see the here is also a lot of storm coming, but we designed it like with the unit uh, frame, and then we try to make the this like water coconut uh, shape of the uh, structure. It have to um, to be strong with the wind uh, storm, and this one we have like air conditioning uh, system for because they the client they are required for the uh, closed space not open space and another uh, project is uh, the and, um, the welcoming center for a cemetery and they say because cemetery is all the way sad or uh, the space like like that so they would like to do some space like friendly, open and relax. People can be there. People, people can be a little bit outside to enjoy the nature around, not like oh too sad or like like that. And then they we we try to make it like just open roof and connect to the outside and like this and people can be inside that building or a little bit outside to enjoy the nature or you can see the structure system one unit and we copy the unit the track and then we have the building and here's a restroom for that building and another <clears throat> another uh, bamboo renovation 
um, the client, they ask us for renovate. This is not pure bamboo structure, of course. This is the, the just a decoration for interior. Uh, but that's why low ceiling, but we still try to make it like nature friendly. It's not. And the rooftop, we create a new structure there. So um, we also did a lot of project in uh, internationally, like in China or <coughs> other countries. This is another restaurant in China, uh, and Chapel. I don't have finished uh, uh, picture, but this is uh, under construction picture. And that all uh, and thing is uh, the situation is changing very fast because of the climate change. So we need to have to reduce the carbon footprint for the, our planet, to save our planet. But with, with, your wonder, with our wandering mind, with our, a lot of fear and anxiety in our mind, it can't work well and can't be productive. So I think the process should be uh, from uh, healing our mind. So that's why I try to have our staff to meditate one hour a day, one hour a day every working day, and also <clears throat> maintaining the five precepts, Buddhist precept, even don't drink alcohol or killing, or you know, we respect other beings, no lying, no sexual misconduct no stealing, no uh, um, alcohol. And um, the, the thing to the meditation, the, our, me and our staff, I and my staff can be uh, very more productive and more concentrated to, to our work. That's why they, they are more in more emotional intelligence, so they help me uh, don't have to go to the office for many years. <laughs> so that's true, that's true. Because that is accidentally, I know about that because I, I had been in, in the forest to meditate. So one of, I thought is one of the biggest enemy for meditation is the internet. So I try to use the simple phone like this piece without internet for many years. So no way, I, can, I cannot make an international call every day longer, longer than 30 minutes. So I try to, you know, meditate well and with super calmness, super, you know, peaceful mind and then make some idea and try to explain that within 10 minutes to 30 minutes, that's it, that's all I can do. And then the, because, uh, because of that situation, I could not meet the client too. So I could not go to the construction site. So, so <laughs> that is no way because I, I, I was in, in the forest. But the con concentration can help. Concentration can help very well. I mean, if I practice meditation well and my staff practice meditation well, we can have some kind of, you know, understanding or connection. That's why, you know, I show you many projects there, but in reality, I never been there until now. I never been there until now because, you know, uh, after meditating, I started to learn English. <laughs> start to, to learn English and finish my uh, uh, PhD within a year or um, studying the um, uh, Buddhist study, Master of Buddhist study in Sri Lanka and finish the PhD in uh, Japan like within one year. So I was busy. So uh, for my, um, I tried to test for the uh, uh, how can meditation can help. And then finally, in the same year with 
I finished my PhD, the company won about 21 international awards that year after I came out from uh, uh, meditation, uh, 1,000 uh, days meditation uh, um, <coughs> period. <coughs> so we meditate at company every day, every working day. And also, um, so let me explain a, a little bit about, uh, because I don't have to go to work uh, every day, so some relative, they have problem with their depression and anxiety uh, around me. So I thought maybe meditation can help, and I start to learn, started to learn about how meditation can help for anxious and depressed people. And then I started to heal them. And it same with architecture, it was surprise. It's just within about a few weeks. And then all, all symptom of uh, depressed symptom can be gone. And you know, nowadays, this uh, World Health Organization, the about third 3.8% uh, of population experience depression, including 5% adult and 4% uh, men and 6% among women. So about 280 million people in the world have depression, um, especially, I think this date, um, especially after the COVID and about the anxiety disorder is same about 301 million uh, people in 2019 before COVID. I mean, after COVID, maybe, I don't know, it may be double. <laughs> um, and about the even uh, bipolar disorder. So I met that when I go around and exactly a lot of people have that problem and they ask me help for how to uh, reduce their symptom, and then the the meditation can help it's not well but super well and uh, because you know um, mind be mindful for example, be mindful on our body is totally opposite with the anxious or depressed situation because we are here and now at the moment. But in my uh, class, I can help them to be uh, at the moment for about 45 minutes or one hour uh, uh, continuously. That why many people uh, experience the, that is they are free from the symptom just after a few sections of meditation. So, you know, I try to find job to kill my time by <laughs> by helping people, depressed people, because I have on, only have to work about 30 minutes an hour per day for my practice. So in our urban environment, it a lot of destruction like internet, phone, network, TV, or we are holding our own phone, even iPhone and iPad, and then it's, you know, the signal is go around this room and then that may influence our, our, our mind, our brain. So that's why it make, a, mm, 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 make us have the trouble with our, our mind, our uh, brain. So, um, to, so, you know, because we have a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of suffering in our mind. So how we can help other, we can help the earth to heal. So. I think it should start with helping, like help, uh, helping my staff to do meditation. So that's why they work for me with good emotional intelligence. So I don't have to work, go to work. I don't have to meet client. I don't have to go to the construction site because they do that very well already. So they don't need me there for, for those stuff. What I mean is in the same way, we need to, you know, for example, for architect or for architectural student here, if we practice meditation well, instead of, you know, we have three minutes, 
for concentration as three seconds and then wandering mind come, right? We think something and then something come in your mind and then you close your eye and you focus on your breath and then the wandering mind come. With wandering mind, we are less productive compared to ourselves. But what if we can concentrate like three minutes continuously? We can concentrate five minutes continuously. What if we can concentrate three hours continuously? I had been meditating in Myanmar, but luckily my company is still there because I could achieve the situation that I can focus on my breath like three hours, four hours, five hours continuously with very less uh, wandering mind. I still can. So that's why I can, you know, work remotely without internet, without internet for three years because of that. So I explain you how I can help to reduce the symptom of the 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 uh, anxious and depressed people. So first, the benefits of meditation. All people know about the reduce the stress, anxiety, health issue, improve uh, concentration, memory, uh, emotional intelligence, and um, positive emotion, and so on. Um, so let me explain about the mecha mechanism uh, through the meditation and type of meditation and the uh, analysis of the meditation can help people. So the uh, first I explain about mechanism through the meditation and it's reduce gray matter of amygdala. Uh, the amygdala is the fear center in our brain and then it Regular meditation can help you to shrink that fear center. That's why make you make us brave, more brave than ourselves compared to ourselves, and we don't feel like fears much. And that's why regular meditation can help to reduce the symptom, of depressed symptom, and um, anxiety uh, disorder symptom. And it increases the gray matter. This all. Um, Research is uh, done by many universities in the world, especially in, at Harvard, they have the, uh, uh, this research, but it in increased the gray matter of the prefrontal cortex. That's why it enhanced the ability of this decision-making, planning, or, you know, it's called intelligence center. So, because it developed as well, and the amygdala is a fear center, is shrinking, that's why we can reduce the symptom of anxiety disorder or depression. <clears throat> and also, you know, the connectivity between the prefrontal cortex and amygdala is getting better after meditation. Then that's why you, you understand what is, uh, what should be fears or what should not be fear. So the theory symptom is uh, very simple. If we meditate seriously, then suddenly some of the depressed people, they suddenly can connect between the prefrontal contact and the amygdala almost after one or two sections. And they know, oh, I am kind of free of almost symptom already because it connects like you turn on the light. That's it. Because normally, a lot of fears and uh, uh, one um, uh, fears in our mind, and then we the connect with the prefrontal contact is almost disconnect because we try we have the reaction like uh, fighting or freezing or flying. Then that's why when we meditate, it suddenly. Now, uh, when we have a lot of fear and it cut the connection to the prefrontal cortex. So when we be mindful for about 45 minutes or one hour continuously and suddenly it connect again and some people experience that is the symptom reduced already after just one or two sections. And 
meditation can help sleep better because uh, scientists prove that you know you meditate and then the stress hormone in our body is reduced after a very short section like 10 minutes 20 minutes then that's why our, we our mind feel calm and relaxed and that's why we fall into sleep easier and we can sleep better so about 80 to 90 percent of those people in our classes can improve their sleeping after having practiced meditation so uh, for the student is good news is about if we meditate regularly it increased the gray matter in the hippocampus of the brain it is a memory and learning center so if we meditate seriously, then we can learn better. We do our thesis or, or, or some is better. And um, the depressed and anxious people, they experience about the reducing their memory very fast uh, uh, because uh, they have uh, uh, depression. But meditation can help them. Uh, rebuild the gray matter in the hippocampus of the, their brain. And um, so, uh, so usually we have meditation about 45 minutes for, uh, to 60 minutes in uh, our class, stressfully. So we have them to be mindful during that time. That's why they make them uh, be free from symptoms very fast. And normally we um, we do the <clears throat> because depressed people they are a lot of fear. Then lying down meditation is good and help them to sleep better too. And walking meditation, standing meditation, sitting meditation, and finally loving kindness meditation help them very well in terms of improve their themselves to other people making rebuild the relationship after we have the uh, anxious and depressed symptom and lying down because depressed people they experience about insomnia so I ask them to lie down to meditate and then their mind is calm down and the wave of the brain between alpha and theta and they fall into sleep easily so many people, they can't sleep for a few weeks, few months, uh, very seriously, but they join the class and the, they sleep there at the first day because I asked them to do the lying down meditation. So they, this helped them very well. And especially before we going to sleep, we should do the lying down meditation and then help us to be away from our worrying about our graduation project or Mr. Nghia will ask you to do her homework or something like that, you can relax and go to sleep. And walking meditation is also very well because a lot of fear in their body and then they just walk and observe their uh, soul touching the floor. That's it. And I asking them every one or two seconds is, can you feel the, the, your soul touching the floor? And they say yes, 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 continuously. That when they say yes, their mind go there, and then they stop fearing. That why, that why, we are at the moment in our soul, in our legs. So it opposite, totally opposite with the uh, uh, anxious or dep uh, depression. So sitting meditation, we always ask them. Uh, do because it's really important but for depressed people I ask them to do short time like 5 to 10 minutes because a lot of wandering mind a lot of you know, anxious and uh, anxiety or fears they can't do it well but you know for example breath meditation breath in breath out breath in breath out breath in and breath out just 3 breath in and out and if they finish that, they say yes, and I will say three more breaths in and out. And they try to follow that, and three more, 
I don't ask them to sit like three hours, four hours, five hours like I have been doing for many years ago, but just few breaths. And they try to follow just few breaths. And then that's why they can do it easily. And loving kindness and usually, usually long term uh, anxiety disorder or depression and make their connection with other people around is not good. I think so. And maybe with their partner, their uh, 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 husband or wife. But with loving kindness meditation, they can uh, do better in terms of uh, uh, the real relationship with the other. So at the end of the section, I always doing the loving kindness meditation with them. So the analysis of the case free from the symptom started very fast at the week one, and after one week, almost thirty percent of people be free from of the symptom because you know we even we we are at a normal people. We can't be mindful like 45 minutes or 60 minutes, but I can help them to do so. That's why they can be very easy to be free from the symptom. And the week two is already 60%, and week three is almost, almost every people join the class, they are free from the symptom. And week four is not um, about two cases uh, still suffering from insomnia symptom and uh, uh, anxious or depressed symptom can be gone because they practice with me and they practice themselves at home I record for them the, the and, and they practice at home before sleeping and even I told you again is even at a normal people like us it's very hard hard to be at the moment at now at the moment for 45 minutes, even for one minute or two minutes is hard, right? Because we we keep thinking, wondering something. So with the be mindful all the time during one hour, it can help very well. So um, I think the healing process should start with healing our mind, improving our mental health. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it was a little bit long for you, the, the lecture. Uh, it was perfect. <laughs> no, it was, uh, was perfect. Uh, thank you very much. This was wonderful. I... Uh, I personally feel like I, I'm still puzzled uh, very much, but I feel like I'm learning things. Um, and obviously it's so, uh, I think it's so radical to see your approach to architecture and to the practice of architecture, especially in this time um, where I still think the time is money. Um, so I, 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 I guess um, I'm, I, I just want to come back to to the practice of architecture and maybe to the idea of uh, design process uh, and to the fact that um, I'm still somehow trying to understand how you communicate with your staff because there is something about seeing in our profession. Um, I, I, I know, for example, anecdotes from uh, the Swiss architect Valerio Olgiati, where he refuses, he doesn't let his staff to draw or to sketch. They have a discussion around the table and then they, the staff obviously moves into AutoCAD and they start to draw the building. Um, I have also, also experienced the process of uh, the Dutch architect uh, Rem Kulhas, who was constantly out of the office and he had a method to communicate with his staff through fax machine, through fax. Um, and that shaped very much the process. So I'm, I'm st I, I want to push a little bit more the question of how do you speak with your staff? Um, before I go to 
uh, meditate, then um, yeah, I had been working around the clock like with the staff at the uh, office, and I had been working hard going to the construction, making the model, do the drawing to, together with the staff. But um, at um, I had strong anger and unhappiness in my my mind, in my heart at that time. So kind of, I went there and, and I make the like very uh, stressful atmosphere. But we work hard, we had been work hard together. But it uh, was a little bit stressful. And But I work with them and sometimes, you know, try to fight with them all the time. Uh, and I told you I ha was very unhappy. I had very unhappy life at that moment. Even I could achieve a lot of project at the moment. Then I started to meditate to reduce my anger, my unhappiness, uh, my, uh, my unhappiness in, in my heart in 2012. And kind of it reduced. And I still go to the office oftenly. From there to 2016, four years, but my anger and unhappiness symptom reduce a bit, bit by bit, by year. Um, but uh, and before meditation, the way of communicating is work with them there to have the meeting to make the model to do everything together. But suddenly. I decided, I, I, I think only meditation can help me be free from my suffering, my anger, my unhappiness. So I started to meditate in Myanmar, you know, the situation in Myanmar, and especially in the forest. The internet was unstable. So I thought, uh, if I... If I I am in the forest and maybe company can be bankrupt, but I can build up it again because I still, if I can achieve the full absorption concentration, and I can build it again, and then luckily after just three months I could de develop the full absorption concentration. As I said, it's many hours, many many hours on the breath or meditation subject. So suddenly, I feel everything clear. You know, the idea appear. Don't need to think. Just spend time to meditate, and then it appear, appear with the detail. And then I just see that, and I make a call with the staff and tell them, "Oh, this detail is like this, like this. You should be careful like that. That tire going there, there is you have the steel or." Or timber or those stuff, you need to be careful. All thing is not no problem, but at that corner maybe you have the problem for you. And then I just close my eye and then I split, I split all the stuff to the stuff. But do you still sketch? No, no, no more, no more. No more. How, how you can send them? <laughs> no sketching. No way to send them anymore because you know no internet. There's just the simple, a simple phone. And then I keep with concentration, with many hours with uh, concentration, we can at achieve that level. Even we can read the context of the site without going there. This is better than, you know, we all, before meditating, I had a lot of just three seconds or five seconds and wandering mind come, how you can compare with, you know, three hours with very less wandering, almost no wandering mind. And then the situation changed. The communication is by by worse. That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I, I do have more questions, but I think uh, we should now open it to, to, to the audience. And I see Claire over there. Um, I just want to thank you very much for the lecture. Um, it's the last thing I expected when I came out on this rainy night was to hear a lecture like this, and I have heard a lot of architects lecture about their work over the years, a lot, a lot, a lot. So this was a total surprise and really fascinating. And of course, I'm wondering now what the 
what the actual subject of your lecture was. I think, in fact, it was meditation. Um, but I have two questions, one that concerns that and one that is much more prosaic. So the first question that I have is, um, what do you do when somebody doesn't want to meditate who works for you? And I ask this in part because my own mother, who is a, a meditator for many decades already, has tried many times to persuade all of her children to meditate. And I, will, I can tell you the outcome of that after the lecture. Um, so that's my first question. What do you do if you have uh, a recalcitrant employee who doesn't want to, who's not ready or able to enter into meditation? So that's question one. Question two, I want to know about your bamboo supplier and your relationship with the bamboo growing industry in Vietnam or wherever you get the bamboo from. Yeah. Uh this very long story to convince the staff to meditate. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think maybe it, I need to summarize. Uh, my wife said that if you ask them to meditate, then they will quit the job. <laughs> that was true. That was true. <laughs> because one hour... At that time, two hours a day, and I reduced into one hour. <laughs> and then, but yes, I was ready to, to the, for the company to bankrupt. So my wife was true, uh, right, is almost the staff, they left the company. But the story become very famous, and many people want to meditate, come. So my, my wife was right, just half. And half story <laughs> is many people want to meditate, come to my company. And, you know, the benefit of meditation, just after three months, our brain is totally changed. Then with young staff, low salary, with concentration, with uh, 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 good emo emotional intelligence, they do better. Of course, they do better. And, you know, with all young staff without any experience, but I have my own concentration. I told them, hey, here, risk, there, risk, there, risk, there, risk. Be careful. This we, yeah, we talk short, but very concentrated to talk about problem. We don't have to think much about that. Then you are right, very hard to convince us. So I, I'm coming now to make the company to uh, uh, in the U.S., or maybe here too. So I need to start to explain about meditation because maybe someone love meditate, come to me because I can't tell them, I tell them to meditate in, in here, right? In here and in the U.S. But I'm waiting for someone, oh, I want to meditate. That one. I will work with, with, with them. So that's first. And... I summarized short, and when kind of I was a little bit successful when in 2017, and suddenly disappeared to the forest. Of course, the family they will accept that will not accept that situation, uh, right? But I was ready to divorce too. So, but I I explained to my wife is normally when we divorce then because of the man have another lady. So you should come to see me where I meditate, where I go to arm food, food every day, where I live, and then you feel, you know, good, happy to divorce. But when she come, she came and then she start to meditate and she's meditate, uh, she, came, she could meditate very well, 11 hours continuously from morning to night. On, or just only only one section. Oh, good. Then I don't have to, you know, have any problem with family or, or company because we suddenly I have a lot of very smart because they meditate, they become smarter. S smart stuff, and then they can help very well. And, you know, that's why I, I 
they can work instead of me, even dealing with the client, go to the site. And I don't have many clients, I never met them until now. But what I mean is uh, the power of, of, of meditation is very good. And my family finally, they feel that, oh, I got better after my suffering, my anger is, uh, I be free from my suffer suffering and my anger, so that's why they feel, oh, that was uh, right choice. But after many, uh, three years, and especially recently I heal for, you know, many mental problems with my family member, then they feel, oh, <laughs> The power of meditation is unbelievable, and then they start to, you know, be forgive me because I left everything behind to go to the forest. And one more, one more question is how relationship is uh, plenty of bamboo in Vietnam, Cambodia, or something like that. They uh, sell it to us. Uh, my staff go to buy. I don't know much about that. <laughs> <coughs> We have time for one more question over over there. Maybe uh, let's just wait for a mic. There. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oops. Um, thank you so much. Um, I was thinking when I saw the one project, um, the beautiful project of the playgrounds for the children at school in, in Bien Hoa, and I immediately thought about that place as this um, central kind of contamination site for Agent Orange from during the war and that the soil had long been contaminated and only recently been cleaned up by the US government and I wondered about that and the idea of healing and how you kind of think of um, healing and the legacy of the Vietnam War in your Can you explain me? Her English is very Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> very difficult English. Um, can you repeat it again? My mind understand. was wandering a little bit, so <laughs> okay. maybe you can. You need to <laughs> meditate. Um, so w uh, what I was saying was when I saw your project of the school, the beautiful school with the playgrounds, yeah. which I understand was in Bien Hoa, uh -huh. and I understood that that was a, a key contamination site of Agent Orange during the war, and that, that, the, that the land was very much contaminated. Contaminated? Pol pollution. A pollution? In the from, ground. From in the uh, Agent Orange? Anyway, I just thought about how, you, if you thought about the legacy of the Vietnam War and the idea of healing, and how if that figures in your in your vision of your work. You mean the war? Yeah. Yeah, you should translate because he she used a lot of difficult English for me. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't think in this area, thank you. I don't think in this area, you know, this area with the, 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 that problem. Uh, I don't think so because it in the city center and people uh, live around that area normally, and I don't think it have any influence with though uh, chemical for 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 this area. I think at the airport, not not here, not here, but about you talk about the healing with the uh, after war. I mean, I am one of the victim because I was born like at the border in the middle of the north and the 
the sound and I was born in the middle of many cluster bomb around because the narrow it uh, place for the between the south and north and south and the American they try to put there as much as possible the cluster bomb uh, this very look beautiful and we play around <laughs> together with that and a lot of people uh, died because of the cluster bomb and a lot of you know all the farm around is with cluster bomb so we can't do the 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 farming well at that moment then that's why I was hungry until I am 20 go to the Japan at that time hungry super hungry mean don't have anything to eat not just like you have some like rice or bread or ramen or those stuff nothing to to eat at that moment so maybe that and a lot of peer a lot of college that die because of the cluster bomb around so that why maybe it make me oh, use anger and 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 uh, unhappiness in my in my mind so the only way to help that is maybe you connect more with the nature and the best way to help to heal is to meditate no way because in my case i could have very good great environment when i was in japan good food good environment good friendly good architecture everything was great but i still can uh, i was still very a uh, lot of suffering but just after meditation I could ease those symptoms so I think you know in the same way um, now maybe ha happen in Ukraine is exactly what happened in Vietnam long times ago mm. thank you yeah, thank you so much uh, yeah. we and I, I speak here for the school we are so grateful to have you um, and to see your teachings and 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 to see them how you how you are sharing them with our students uh, uh, thank you again for the lecture and thank you for 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 your presence i also want to thank uh, you for for taking the time to be here uh, a quick reminder that our next event it's uh, next thursday february 1st uh, we have the miami-based architect um, and uh, Professor Germain Barnes, who's going to speak about architecture and identity. So I, I hope I'll see many of you again next Thursday. And uh, I'd like to invite you in the lobby for, uh, for just uh, refreshments and uh, the opportunity to ask more questions uh, to, to Ngia. Again, thank you very much. Thank Have you. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.